so we are having this training about the prestool design and uh, what we are going to teach you for this uh, 15 hours is about i am going to show you about this uh, brief description about this let us start the first one is what is the sheet metal processes what all are the different different types of processes we have in sheet metal processing uh, which includes uh, different types of pressing operations key terminologies tool related and machine related and uh, there are a lot of calculation involved we are going to uh, talk about calculations and you can have a, a, a general knowledge about how to calculate the press tonnage, etc. Then the appropriate processes and tooling for a given part. And if you look at the type of sheet metal processes, there are many different types of sheet metal process. And if you are looking at, it will be useful for two-wheeler frame, wheel rims, petrol tanks, so many everywhere we are using the sheet metal components. And we'll see what all are the different uh, progressive tools, etc. And uh, basically, the operations of sheet metal is divided into shearing operations like blanking, piercing, fine blanking, cutting off. You can see all this. And uh, at next is a uh, forming operations like bending, forming, drawing, embossing, coining so many like this. We'll briefly see all this. And there are some combined operations like a lancing and uh, lowering, which means the shearing and forming will be done in the same tool. And we are going to see about the shearing operations, what is shearing and all those theories. What is cutting clearance? All these things will be explained how the punch and die is acting, what are the three different stages of shearing operations. And we'll see some animations and the videos, et cetera. Stages in shearing operations. What is blanking? One by one, we are going to see what is blanking. There is two types of blanking, conventional blanking, fine blanking. And what are the difference between these two? And we have another secondary operation called a shaving operation. Why do we, we do shaving operations? Uh, I'll explain all those things. And some calculations involved in the shaving operations will be included. Again, the fine blanking. I'll explain the fine blanking operations, which will be very, very useful for high volume production. It can eliminate a lot of different processes. And what is normal blanking? And what all are the different uh, shapes on the cottage characteristics? And the fine blanking, what are the difference? You can see the side of this piece, and here, this is normal blanking, and the bottom is a fine blanked part. So, especially like a gears, we require this cottage characteristics to be very fine throughout the phase. So those things will be explained in these sessions. And secondly, we will talk about what is the piercing operations. And uh, some cutting operations like cut off, 
all these things will be explained in this cut off operations parting off operations and what is a trimming operation why we do trimming operations especially like after deep drawing and all the outside of the part will not be uh, having a regular form so we do a trimming so i like plain then there is a notching operation then there is a color drawing operation then bending operation what is bending uh, what are the different types of bending operations what are the uh, this is some theoretical aspects of the bending operations why do we do bending operations we we'll elaborately talk about then what is uh, forming operation what is the difference between bending and forming will be explained then we'll come to the drawing operations drawing there is a shallow drawing and a deep drawing which will be covered in detail simple drawing and deep drawing how it will be done then there is a another ironing operation so why do we do ironing operation will be explained now embossing embossing is a very very much useful in the first components and why do we do embossing operations what are the things we have to take here all these things will be explained then we will see embossing tool you know this is only a uh snapshot of the embossing tool then coining operations what are the difference between the embossing and coining just like making a coin so what is the difference between embossing and coining all those things will be taught to you next is we will talk about a, a combined operation like a dancing where we have a cutting and a forming operation together just like a, our mosquito coil stand one side it is being bent three sides are being cut similar to that there is a dowering operation in this case one side is being cut and three side are formed why do we do those things it will be explained another operation is a hemming operation we'll see what is hemming and why do we want to do hemming operations similar to the hemming there is a another operation called a seaming operation for joining two sheets so we'll explain about the seaming operations with examples we'll see some what is the seaming operation etc then another operation for uh, bending side is curling or beading operations which you may be knowing very much the beads we are making on this uh, plates etc 
Then we talk about the planishing. Why do we do planishing operation? It is actually a straightening operation 